Dr. Sonia Talani. I'm a cardiologist at New York Presbyterian Hospital, Columbia University Irving Medical Center. Do you know that there are things that you can do to keep your heart healthy? New York Presbyterian is collaborating with the American Heart Association to share simple heart healthy tips that you can share with your family. So it's really important to do a warm up because sometimes if you just start exercising uh, without doing anything, your heart rate can go up really quick. And sometimes that can make you feel a little short of breath or a little uncomfortable. So we like the warm up because it will really kind of let you do more later on. Um, just like any other engine, like a car or a motorcycle, giving your body and your heart a little bit of chance to uh, get used to the higher heart rate and the higher output that you're going to be doing can make you feel better while you're doing your exercise. Doing a cool down after exercise is also important because it allows your heart rate to come down a little bit naturally so that you can feel more comfortable as you move on with the rest of your day. Going from zero to 60 and then stopping immediately can sometimes not feel that great. And we wanna make sure that we're always feeling good when we exercise because it's more likely then we're gonna keep doing it because continuous exercise, making exercise a regular part of our lives is the most important thing for heart health. The best time to work out is the time that's best for you. So the most important thing about exercise is doing it regularly. So we recommend that people exercise at least five days a week, but being a daily exerciser is really awesome and an incredible goal for all of us to have. So whether you work in your exercise on your way to school, or if you work in your exercise afterwards when you get home, or if you do it at lunchtime in the middle of the day, all of it counts. And as long as it's something that you enjoy and can keep doing, it builds a really healthy habit that you can take with you for the rest of your life. There's no exact time that you need to wait after eating to exercise. But again, because we want exercise to be enjoyable, if you've had a big meal and you go out for a run or some, do something vigorous, you might not feel that great. So usually I think if you give yourself 20 to 30 minutes after a big meal, you'll probably enjoy your experience.